How to use the Unpano Renderer add-on. Unpano Renderer is an add-on for Blender. With Unpano Renderer, you can extract multiple images from 360-degree videos. This can be very useful for photogrammetry or for creating Gaussian splats. Start with an empty scene and press the N key to open the sidebar. Click on the Load Video button and select a 360-degree video. The video will be displayed immediately in the 3D view. Now add a render camera by clicking on the Create Camera button. To view through the camera, press the zero key on the numeric keypad. Now you can try out the different viewing angles by clicking on the corresponding view buttons. You can uncheck the checkboxes if you don't want a particular viewing angle to be rendered and change the focal length if desired. Drag the current frame slider to scroll through the video. You can rotate the panorama video to align it or to better match the viewing directions. For this example, I will use multi-row output. With multi-row, up to 22 images can be rendered per frame. The tilt angles are freely configurable. In most cases, two rows of six images each are sufficient. I will only use the top and bottom rows. So first, I disable all the other angles. Then I try to adjust the pitch values so that as much as possible is visible without the tripod being visible in any of the images. Once everything is set as desired, you can assign a name to the output and then click the render button. An info window appears and shows the number of images to be rendered. The file format and output path must be specified in the Blender output panel. By default, Unpano Renderer only renders the current frame. If you want to render the entire video or a range of frames, select the Render All Images checkbox. With Step, you can determine how many frames should be skipped. The process takes time, depending on how many images are being rendered. Please note that Blender cannot be operated or closed during this time. The info window closes as soon as the rendering process is complete. And here is the result in post shot. Okay, thanks for watching.